what's up guys so this is gonna be a pretty cool video so right now i'm currently building a vertical takeoff and landing aircraft which is a vtol and there's a lot of vtols in real life like you have the f-35b which is the marine variant of the f-35 that can also take off vertically you also have the harrier which is the most the most let's say the most widely known vtol but basically, I'm making a VTOL in Kerbal Space Program fully non-modded. So this is a fully stock game. Like, you could make the exact craft that I'm making right now if you just straight up downloaded Kerbal Space Program from Steam and you followed what I did. And yeah, this is basically what I'm building. And overall, it's a, it's a pretty cool project. Like, I think the end result is really good. It flies really well. And it kind of surprised me as well with how controllable it was. And it's primarily controllable because basically every single like point around this craft has a controllable thrusters on it. So if you enable RCS, it's just going to be as straight as an arrow. And I'm also using thrust vectoring nozzles for the engine. So like you got even more maneuverability. And like later on in the video, I like added like flaps and like elevons and, and rudders to make sure that this thing is as perfect as possible and basically how i got around like the vertical takeoff part of this uh craft is i use stud thrusters like you can still they're like the little engines you can see it poking through the wing but i use those and i have i have three of them on each side and i kind of had to find the right amount of throttle for every single one of them because if one if one side was a little too strong it would start to flip which you can see in the video and it, and it was kind of an issue but like once i got the throttle right though this thing would just take off straight up perfectly balanced like like you barely had to touch it like if especially if you enabled a rcs and sas on as well like it would just lift off the ground and like with ease which was kind of crazy because like i've never seen a vehicle in kerbal space program that kind of lifted off like this because like okay if you look at the videos on youtube you got like jacksepticeye you got matt lone and you got like there's a lot of there's a lot of youtubers but like all their vehicles are typical forward thrust and then boom it starts flying i haven't really seen anything that just straight up goes in the air vertically and then starts to move around like i think this might be one of the very first ones especially on like a stock kerbal space program game because i've seen videos of people making like helicopters and all that stuff but those are modded and i don't really want to use mods yet but yeah i also encountered some issues especially with uh with the control thrusters like in the beginning i was just putting them on like everywhere that i thought would be vital for a control thrusters but that wasn't the case because in one situation where i was trying to go up because i positioned all the control thrusters like randomly um i had i had not enough lift for the plane to actually start pitching up so it just kept going down because there wasn't enough thrust being produced because uh, in this stage of my vehicle right now i was using no no control surfaces so i only had uh i only had control thrusters and thrust vectoring engines and that was it but like with any project uh, i just kept developing the craft i added more control thrusters because like the more the merrier and eventually i reached a point where i had the desired craft like like it had it had perfect authority like it could go it could go down it could go up it could go left it could go right which is exactly what i wanted like that's the end goal i wanted a craft that could go straight up it could go left it could go right it could go forward it could go backwards a true vtol but as always i wanted more and basically the engines that i was using the main engines the air breathing one weren't powerful enough so i wanted this plane to be able to go at least mach 3 as well which is around 1300 meters per second which is very fast it's like 2300 miles per hour but the engines i was using they were not really that strong and their gimbal authority wasn't really that good as well so i had to swap those out but i mean with current engines that i had on the plane well on the vehicle it was it was still plenty fast it could easily reach uh, mach 2 which is around 700 meters per second but 
it's still far away from the desired 1200 or 1300 meters per second I wanted. And like the main issue with like the gimbal authority, I still had to fix that. So I just completely swap out for another engine. I found I found these black ones. I forgot the name of them, but like the, these were probably the best engines I could pick for them. For at least for air breathing engines, because these could gimbal very well and they produce a lot of thrust. And this basically gave me what I wanted and it, it, and it worked perfectly. Wait, actually correction. So the engines that I had before produced way more thrust than the ones that I'm using right now that you're, that you're seeing. But like the ones before had no gimbal authority. That makes sense. That, that actually, that would explain why the plane would, kept, would keep pitching down even though I tried going up. But yeah, yeah, that, that would make sense. And this is the point where I started adding like actual plane traits like rudders, elevators, flaps because because I found out that just using control thrusters wasn't really doing it for me like the plane was not agile enough. So I started adding some flaps on it and then I put a I put some canards in the front as well just to just to see if it would make it even better. But then with the first test flight of adding all these components the, the 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 vehicle it wouldn't take off anymore because well it could still take off like a plane but it wouldn't take off vertically like a VTOL because it was simply too heavy now this thing is on the dirt just lift off buddy so at this point either I had to wait like 30 seconds for the plane to produce enough lift well I mean the engines produce enough lift or I have to take off conventionally like a normal plane, which is not really what I wanted. But like once it got off the ground, it actually flew really well. But I mean, this is like all my efforts combined into one. Like this is basically the final product. And this is the most controllable vehicle I have ever made. I don't even know. I mean, technically it is a plane. It flies like a plane. It's a VTOL. So it's basically a hair. I mean, if you look at the design, it looks very similar to a Harrier. And and man, the authority on this was amazing. Like you could slow it down into a standstill and just float over something until you run out of fuel, of course. And I also tried taking off conventionally like a plane. Like I'm just trying to hit every single criteria that I set for this craft. And it's it excelled at every single one. So I'm very pleased. Easily. Can it do a backflip though? What the? What in the world? What is this thing? What have I made? Like, this thing just keeps shocking me. Like, I can't believe it can do a backflip that easily. Especially if you consider the fact that this thing is a vertical takeoff and landing capable aircraft which is what i'm gonna do right now so i'm gonna be attempting to land this thing while mid-air like i'm already in motion so like i'm slowing down and i'm attempting to land it back down in a like vertical takeoff and landing fashion a VTOL fashion like a like a like a harrier landing let's see if we can land beside this thing Okay, I'll, hey, I will, I'll take that. That that's a, that's a successful-ish landing. And of course, why not try taking off again, right after I just landed? Cause like that's like the best test of its true capability. Like if it can do it once, who says I can't do it again? So we gotta make sure that I can do it again. And of course, it did it, and it did it beautifully. Like it landed like a feather. Man, I love how this thing ended up. And hopefully you guys love it too. Cause this took me maybe three hours to get to like start 
and to finish so yep it's pretty cool pretty cool bro this is too easy what have i made